So we have uh, our other points now, and I think we wanted to talk about the Nets and uh, their big, massive off season. Yeah. Um, they signed uh, Kyrie Irving, uh, DeAndre Jordan, yep. and KD. An incredible off season, probably one of the best off seasons we've seen for an NBA team in a long while. Um, I think this isn't up for debate that in two years from now they're going to be really good. I mean, probably championship bound with KD, Kyrie, and James yeah. Jordan and their other pieces that they have. Um, I'm going to ask you, how do you think that they're going to do this year, though, with Kyrie? Yeah, so I think this year, since KD will be out the entire year, um, they have Kyrie, DeAndre Jordan, and they really have a good roster. You saw D'Angelo Russell last year lead them to the playoffs. They were six seed. They came. They looked like they were about to be the 76ers. They won game one, and then after that, they disappeared. And I think that's part of a young team making it to the playoffs for the first time in a while. Uh, but I think Kyrie and DeAndre Jordan will be able to lead them to the playoffs again. I think if D'Angelo Russell did it with the same group, I think Kyrie and DeAndre Jordan will be able to. Yes, the competition has gotten better with Philadelphia and everything they've done, and Boston possibly with Kimba maybe. Um, they've gotten teams have gotten better, but I think Kyrie is good enough to him and DeAndre Jordan are good enough with the roster they have to make it to the playoffs. I don't think they'll be a high seed, maybe a six, seven, or eight seed, kind of like they were last year. But I do think they'll make the playoffs. Um. Yeah, I sort of agree. Um. I think one interesting thing is when I was reading through some of the articles that uh, KD and Kyrie sort of planned this and they wanted to play together, I guess. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there was a quote said by KD, as long as Kyrie doesn't screw it up. Yeah. So I think that's sort of interesting to see and just yeah, the I, dynamic between them. I do them. think it's interesting because I said in a previous video that I think KD and Kyrie are both very flaky and they tend to social media a lot. They go on there and they kind of are very emotional players and they're friends which helps it helps to have a friend that you're playing alongside but it's kind of like the Draymond and KD thing last year when they got into an argument I, I think it wouldn't be hard for them to get into an argument and mess up the chemistry and mess everything up um so I think that it is an interesting concept with them playing together I think KD made a mistake leaving the Warriors I think the just had everything and he goes to an organization that is not a bad organization but it's not near what the Warriors was mm -hmm. and but yeah I think it would be interesting and DeAndre Jordan was a good signing I mean I don't yeah. think really anyone's really going to talk about that much in detail but yeah it was a good signing by them um so we want to move on to the Lakers and Kawhi so where do you think Kawhi should uh go if you were Kawhi where do you say oh, Kawhi I'll going. stay in Toronto I don't know why you would leave there are arguments to go to the Clippers and the Lakers but why would you go anywhere if you could stay in Toronto you won a championship in Toronto you've gotten the guys back in Toronto besides maybe Danny Green which you can probably replace there's a lot of shooters in the league um, but you get Marcus Gasol back you got pa Pascal Siakam Fred Van, Fred Van Fleet you got all those guys back so why would you leave a city that loves you, embraces you, and you could be the man in Toronto. So if you're, if you want to really have competition, not join the competition. Like if you go to the Lakers, you'll just join your competition and won't have to compete anymore. I think Kawhi is more of a competitor than that. I think he'll want to beat the LeBrons and the Anthony Davises. And why would you? I don't. I think it's a good situation in Toronto, so I don't know why you would leave. Personally, I'm a fan of him going to the Clippers. Um, I want to see the Clippers succeed um, with Pat Beverly and the uh, I just like that organization. I like Doc Rivers. Um, that team is set up for him to lead, and it would be cool yeah. to see him win and lead two different teams. Um, you made good points about staying in Toronto, and really there's no reason for him to leave, but I personally just want to, as sort of biased, I want to see him lead uh, the Clippers and be the dominant L.A. team. I think it would be idiotic for him to go to the Lakers. And personally, I my opinion on the Lakers this offseason is not that good. I'm sort of a doubter. Um, 
So they traded for AD, as everyone knows, but they also traded away for, like, the next four or five seasons. I mean, they traded a lot away yeah. for AD. With how the league has been, uh, with free agency and how everyone's things playing out and players getting better and we're having so many more all-stars and uh, players emerging, um, it's an interesting time in the NBA. I don't think LeBron and AD are going to be able to get it done. Now... I was talking to him about this earlier, and he made a very good point, talk, telling me, he's like, well, would they have been better with all their young stars? No, <laughs> they wouldn't. But they also, in my opinion, they screw themselves over for the next four or five years. And I think the league is too good on the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference for them to really do anything. Okay, so what I have to say to that, I think my one point is... I think they had to do the AD trade now rather than later, which I know you think that you should have waited till next year. Mm-hmm. I don't think they could have waited till next year. I think they had to do it now. And I'm not saying it was a great move to give all that away for AD, but I think they had to do it just based on the fact that LeBron is just getting older and older and older and not better. Like people say, oh, he gets better than, better with time. No, he doesn't. He just, he just doesn't. Like, He's past his prime at this point. He's down. He's going downhill. He's getting injured more often. If you wait for another year for AD to get there, LeBron is with all the young guys. He takes a beating in the regular season because that he has to lead them. They they're still getting their feet wet in the NBA. He has to lead them. He gets maybe get they get into the playoffs and have a rough first round series. They get out, and he's just his body. Let's say he gets injured again and he has to come back next year for his 18th season and now you get AD but you got a LeBron who's all fatigued and can't do it next year I, and then you got AD and like then now now who else is AD and LeBron and Kawhi is probably maybe he's still available maybe he's signed a long term deal with somebody else maybe he stays in Toronto signs a five year deal with Toronto and now who do you have like next off season is not going to be near what it was this off season. So I don't think, I think they had to do it now. I'm not saying it was a great, great move, but they had to do it now. So I just personally don't think they're going to get anywhere. And the, this is the definition of going all in. Yeah, for sure. And it's not going to pay off. I, I, I think that's a guarantee in my opinion. Um, Lisa LeBron's going down. Their bench really isn't that good. Yeah. Um, and especially if they get Kawhi. He was saying, I know earlier, that uh, Kawhi, uh, LeBron, and AD all together would be, I mean, that dominant. You couldn't stop that. Well, I agree, but if one person goes down, which is easy with LeBron getting injured more often, I don't know. That's... Yeah. I see what I you're saying. The depth to do it. I see what you're saying, but Kawhi... Knowing what we know now after he just won a championship at Toronto, if you have another star like AD, AD is a better version of Pascal Siakam, basically, and a way better version, in my opinion. So if you have that, and you have just guys that can fill their role, I don't doesn't even have to be huge, huge players. You could sign, there's a lot of minimum guys that you could sign that could do their job. I think that they... Probably wouldn't win a title if LeBron went down or one of them went down. But I don't think it would be over. And if LeBron ends up retiring, then that con, like, I'm not saying next year, but it, what if he did? If he got injured and he tore his ACL or something terrible and he retired, then that cap space goes away. Then you can sign another guy. You have Kawhi AD and then you can sign other pinch guys. And I think they would be set for the future. So they're trying to build now with LeBron still there. But if you do get Kawhi, it might take a couple years, but you have Kawhi AD and a young core that you can build around.